friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama, Kayla's Yarn Cube. I'm Kayla. I'm Elijah. <laughs> this is my son, Elijah. And today, he is going to make me some earrings. <laughs> um, if you remember, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Willow Oak Farm and Fiber and visited with Aletha. And she spins yarn. And so she also makes these awesome earrings. Um, different fibers. She has she has lots of different ones and lots of different colors. And so, I bought these white ones, and they are made with angora rabbit fur. Like these are so soft, you just can't even imagine. I mean, you know how soft they are, right? Yeah, they're, they're soft. This is really really soft, and so I loved that. And so I knew that I wasn't going to get a whole hank. <laughs> or more than one hank of angora fur to make something um not angora fur but angora yarn to make something i knew i wasn't about to get like you know several hanks of that to make a big shawl or something you know or hat or anything like that so my best option was to buy me some earrings <laughs> So I would have these, but my problem is I do not have pierced ears and these, um, you know, are pierced ears for pierced ears. So I don't have pierced ears. I, I have at one time, but not today. And um, just with all my chronic health issues and stuff, I just don't want to get my ears pierced again because I don't know that it'll heal up or anything like that. Fine. Um and I'm not going to let him do it. <laughs> he pierced his own ears. And some other people's oh, ears. Yeah. So. He's not doing mine. <laughs> but anyway. So that day. One day me and Elijah went to Michael's. And I purchased. Um, these clip-on earrings. So, it is the little set with the clip-on earrings. I purchased silver, and I purchased some gold ones. And then I also got little gold jump rings and um, some silver jump rings. And then while we were there, I also purchased these little tassels. Um, and, I, and right now, they have a little plastic sleeve on them. But to take that plastic sleeve off, and they're going to be like fringe, like a um, tassel. Yeah, like this, except, you know, it's not yarn. It looks more like embroidery floss thread to me. But anyway, they will fluff out, you know, once that plastic is off. But I was going to get Elijah to put some of these on some clip-on earrings for me. And I also got um, some butterflies, so we'll see about doing some of those, maybe. And then at Hobby Lobby, I had picked up this black and white swan. And so I just thought, at the time, I was thinking I was going to get him to make stitch markers with these. But then afterwards, um, after I got these and thought about that, I thought, well, that would be fun earrings. So... Who knows? I might come up with all kinds of earrings before it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we are going to go to my desk and for a top-down view. And Elijah is going to turn these into clip-on earrings for me. And then I will come back at the end of the video. I will come back wearing my Angora yarn earrings and so i'm really excited about that so let's go to my desk and watch elijah make earrings <laughs> hey friends i just wanted to say that i'm going to leave links below to willow oak farm and fiber that is where i got these angora earrings so if anyone is wanting to support a small business or is interested in Getting some of these soft, soft earrings. There will be links below to her uh, Facebook group, her Instagram, and her shop. Just wanted to say that real quick. Um, I don't know if I said it in the video while we were talking. But um, yeah, there you can see Elijah is putting those earrings together for me. And 
you just do not know how soft that yarn is. <laughs> but I do appreciate Elijah so very much for changing these from regular earrings to clip-on earrings so that I can wear them. They turned out so very nice, as you will see at the end of the video. But I'm excited about them. Okay, I just wanted to mention real quick that there will be links in the description box below. Thanks, guys.
Okay, friends, we are back, and Elijah made my Angora earrings, so they are so soft, and yes, I can feel that softness on my neck there, and so that is awesome. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of them, okay? So, yeah. And anyway, so while he was doing those, he went ahead and made up a few more earrings, and I'll just go ahead and show you what... He did. He did these little um, pink flowers there for me. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he did these pink flowers here. It's two of those. And then the tassels that he did. This is how they turned out. So it's kind of the same, same concept as this yarn. Except it's more like... Um, and forgery floss, mm -hmm. I guess you would call it, huh? Yeah. The cross it stitch threads. So he did the turquoise and fuchsia and the purple ones for me because I know I have shirts 
that, you know, go with those. So he did those, and then he did the two swans. A black swan and a white swan, and they are really cute. And so I look forward to wearing these. <laughs> But anyway, it didn't take him too long to do these. He, um, they done it real quick. He knows what he's doing. He used to make a lot of stitch markers for me in the past. And so, anyway, I appreciate you doing that. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Yeah. I've been wanting these done. And they're finally done. So, I'll be wearing these, um, sporting those around. <laughs> Do they look okay? Yeah, I like them. Alright, guys. Well, I just wanted to come back and show you real quick what they look like done. And, you know, they are on my ears, so I don't didn't have to get my ears pierced. They're just clip-ons. And um, they're fine. They're comfortable. I mean, it's not like bothering me or anything. Now, I don't know if I wore them for hours and hours how it would feel, but right now... They're fine, and I'm not used to wearing clip-on earrings, so, um, yeah. Anyway, so now this opens up a whole world for me for having some earrings. Because I just didn't want to get my ears pierced again. I, I had them pierced when I was little, you know, like a young girl. And then, um, at some point in my adult years uh they grew up they grew the clothes holes grew closed and then i did have my ears pierced again as an adult but um they closed up real quick and yeah so and i didn't want to get them repaired so yeah all right guys i'm gonna let you all get going i hope you have a great day remember it is a beautiful day to crochet or make you some yarn earrings. <laughs> Bye, friends.